Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 552. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 551 to 557. Hey, in this trick here, we want to display VLOOKUP results vertically. So here we have a code, and we need to take this code, look it up, find the code, and then return jacket small and 30 this way listed vertically. So VLOOKUP will take this, find it in this first column, and then go to the second column, deposit that there, then go to the third column, one, two, three, put this there in the fourth column. The only trick is how do we get, as we copy the formula down, uh, two, three, and four? Well, we've seen this many times. Here's There's a way to increment a number. So we simply use the rows function. We say how many rows are there from G8, G, and you got to lock it with the dollar sign, eight, to G8. Well, right now, how many rows from 8 to 8? There are one row. But as we copy down, this is locked, this is not. Hey, but that's not going to work. We need 2, 3, 4 as we copy down. So with the range still highlighted in the active cell at the top, I'm going to hit the F2 key. I'm going to say plus 1. Now to populate all this uh, edited formula in the selected range, I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter. That'll give us the column number for the VLOOKUP. So now I'm going to hit F2 and just uh, build my uh, formula around this. How about VLOOKUP? Where's the lookup value? Right here. Now we need to lock it when we're going down, so I'm going to hit the F4 key twice to lock it across the row reference. That's the lookup value, comma, the table. Notice we just have this thing hanging out at the end, which is fine. Table, highlight whoop, that range right there. F4 to lock it in all directions, comma, the column index, well, we already have that. That is our uh, number incrementer. And finally, comma, lookup range, we need exact match, so I'm putting a zero. These are text entries, and they're not sorted, so we have to put, uh, please find an exact match. Close parenthesis, and I'm going to populate all those cells, Control Enter. I'm going to click here and use the keyboard shortcut for currency, Control Shift 4. Now, uh, I like to do it this way. I like to use that number incrementer. Now, a note about this rows. Notice it's G8 to G8. That means G8 is the um, cell we start in, but when we copy it down, it's an expandable range. But notice, this range is always just referring to the range of cells that contains the formula. Let's look at an alternative. We did rows G8 to G8 plus 1. But what if we just said, hey, I'm going to do that range right there. So right now it's 7 to 8. That would give us 2. I'm going to lock it going down. I'm going to say, no, I made a mistake here. Uh, very rarely does this guess right. I'm going to say, no, and then click OK. I can edit it. Delete. So it assumed I wanted to multiply 1 when I accidentally had a 1 there. Copy it down. Now that works fine. But what happens if you insert a row? Now this rows is looking at three rows. Also, if you delete uh, a, this cell, for instance, um, you can get an error. Now in many cases, you're never going to insert a row like this. So in that case, Control-Z, this formula would work just fine. But the logic behind uh, Control-Z, Z, the logic behind this one is it's robust. It can handle inserting rows or having this deleted and move some. Well, of course, that would cause a problem right here. But uh, this is more robust in many cases. There are many ways to do this. Uh, many people do it this way. They just do their VLOOKUP and put a 2 and copy it down and then edit it and change it to a 3 and then a 4. Still another way, you could put 2, 3, and 4 in the cells uh, next to your um, uh, labels there, and just use a relative cell reference. Look in there. So as you copy it down, it moves. And that's the column index. And then there's more traditional two-way lookups, um, index and match. We don't need to do that, but you could. Um, and uh, VLOOKUP and match together. I like to just use that uh, rows. Now, these two methods here, index and match and VLOOKUP and match, those would work if you didn't have these names in a certain order. But we do here. We're just looking up a code here, right? Actually, watch this. I'm going to click, 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 cl um, I'm sorry, clicking and holding Control. 
And I'm going to, with the active cell, notice these are non-contiguous cells that we've highlighted using our control click key. I'm going to type the equal sign, click on this one, and then hit the F4 key to lock it in all directions. And now to populate all of those cells, linking all of these lookups to that drop down there, I will hold control and tap enter. Now when I change this to, then I can see if they're all working. Sure enough, it looks like they're all working. All right, um, we'll see you next trick.